Hey there, welcome back and thanks for joining me. All my supplies and equipment are down in the description box below and they have links and also there's an Amazon store with pictures. <laughs> it makes it easier. So if you like this video, hit that subscribe button. If you want to be notified when videos come out, hit that notification bell. And likes, comments, and questions are welcome. All right, I'm playing with, I saw a color combination and I wanted to try it. So I've got this pre-mixed. It's got some alcohol in it. Sorry, I've been painting already. It's got some alcohol in it. It's, it's espresso. I've got that. And so here's a little bit of that color. I've got one that I've, it's, it's a, um, current, uh, put a little bit of black in it, just a tad, not much, but you can see the colors, how they, they kind of mesh. So I've got that going. Um, I'm going to put uh, pitch black down for a center and not sure what to do after that um yeah i don't know my my decision at this point is do i make a flower go like this do i make a flower go like that hmm i think i want one to go like that because it very well may turn into a card so i'm going to use my airbrush now, my guy is this fella. Um, it is Master Model TC320. It's got the moisture catcher here. Um, on and off switch, it's got the dial where you can uh, put it as really high PSI as you want up to 100. It's got the little holders here. Um, mine swing around. I don't have it tightened. So there's a little nut right here. You just tighten it up. And yeah, love this guy. So, <laughs> Henry, you're a painting too late. Where have you been? Huh? Where you been? Okay. So anyway, we're going to do, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to put down... really kind of want now I'm gonna do it I am we'll put one here okay I just used this it was not acting funny there we go now this is the Revlon I'll get this dry Okay, this is my Revlon. It's a, a blow dryer. I used to have brushes on the ends here. Um, it's got a high volume cool, a low volume with heat, and a high volume with heat. So you've got your three settings. Pretty good to use. Okay, so there's the base that I've got set down. Um, I'm going to use these two. And we'll put them on here. It'll activate some of this, and then that color will come out. I don't think I want smooth petals. I think I want very uh, fringy, I think. Um, mainly because I lose patience trying to make smooth ones because it takes longer. So anyway, having admitted that, let me get this ready. And I'm going to start just with one color and put it down and go around. I'm gonna let that activate it for a sec. And that was a lot, so I won't leave this one as long. And I'm still putting about half of it on, half of it off. Now you can keep on and make it go wider or you can come and corral it back into the center. Totally up to you. There's different looks for them. But that's where your play comes in. That's kind of pretty. Yeah, I'm liking that color. 
I kind of wish it was a little darker. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add some more current. Just a squirt, uh, quite a few drops. Let's see what difference that makes. A little bit. Okay, not too bad. Okay, let me do the espresso. Now, do you see the blue? Isn't that cool? I'm wanting a little more red than current. Um, current comes out a little purpley. I'm not crazy happy with that. And my lid here clogged up, so I've just been taking off and hoping I don't turn it over. Let's see what this color is. Okay, I want to try that. So this is more of a cranberry, I think, is what was in it. And it is loud. Holy cow. But, <laughs> I like it. If you like to paint fast and just want to move, 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 and not do really small, slow movements, this is for you. Because sometimes I am not in the mood to sit here and just be detailed and slow, and I want to run it like a sprint. I don't like that, so all you do, run back over it. At this point, I am playing. I've got everything covered. I just really want to see what this does. So I'm going to play until either I get bored or I get something that I truly just absolutely love. And then I'll quit playing. And when you don't feel like painting and you just want to do something, this is awesome because guess what? It's paper. It's paper and ink. And when you get done, what a cute card. So, yeah. So sometimes this is all I do is I come in or I will come in and wispy color the whole thing and use it to cut up and make cards. So I use my dye on it and cut it. So yeah, even when I don't feel like painting, 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 <laughs> I can come and do something. Let's 
see what this does on top of it. That adds a really cool element to it. I really like that. And the espresso, you would think, would have more cool. Espresso, to my eyes, has a warm tone to it. Um, teakwood, which appears to have a yellow tone, is cooler when you blow it out. So I don't, I don't know. This it's crazy. That's when you just gotta kind of figure your colors out and learn them. But yeah, espresso seems. To, oh, I like that. Seems to have a. Uh, warmer tone um i think i have come to a stopping point that is pretty cool especially if you crop it down this is this is ugly. We didn't care about that. We didn't try for that. But everything else, that's that's pretty awesome. Okay. Uh what I want to do is take my mantella. Now the difference between pitch black and mantella is the pitch black pulls blue and brown tones along with the black. Mantella from Pinata just black straight it, there's there's no other underlying color so the ranger pitch black has your colors and just to do it by itself is absolutely gorgeous um i've done a flower i'll link it above it looks like i've used two three flowers uh sorry colors uh but yeah i'll put it up here but they it is so cool it is so cool but anyway there are there are the times i don't want to pull that i've already got it here what I'm wanting to do is fill in this a little bit, and I'm just going to let it go. As difficult as that is, I'm going to let it go. Just let it do its thing. So, and it's bothering me. Okay. Um, <laughs> it is bothering me. So I'm going to get a micro brush, and I'm going to do, while it's, doing its thing put some just stuff I just want some barely 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 and I'm trying to do it on the where well, there's petals coming out so it would kind of add to that because uh, I'm not gonna do a lot I'm not gonna do other stuff to this um, I wish I hadn't done that let me get it back all right, leave it alone. It'll it'll do its thing. And we'll pull some of this down. While it's still wet, it'll do it'll do whatever it needs to do. There, I'm liking that. Okay, I'm leaving it. If y'all only knew how hard that was for me to just leave it, just leave it. I'm just leaving it. Okay, what I do want to do, I'm gonna get this dry. All right, so <laughs> that was that was difficult. Um, I would like to get, there's two things I wanna do here. I'm gonna get my, uh, do 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 black here it is I already had it out acrylic <laughs> sorry I was playing no I'm not using this paper because it will soak it right on in so I'm gonna grab a piece of my this is labels come off of it so it's real slicky and I'm just going to use it a little bit. I'm 
and see how it just beads up. And I like flicking with this thing because it doesn't put down heavy ones. I don't want big, bulky stuff. And so I'm going to put it in water. Now, that acrylic ink you use with water. You do not use it with alcohol. Okay. I want to flick some dark through here. Just through here. Not out here. Here. And that is it. I really like that. Okay. What I'm going to do, now this bothers me that it's not completely dark, but what I'm going to do, and I did it once before and absolutely loved it. Well, I'm going to get this dry. Okay, let me get this drop. That got that got it. Okay. Um, I'm going to take straight alcohol. I'm also going to flick, and yes, I use the same brush because I do. The clear. Now, the clear will make that bubble and be white, but I don't want white on this. I want it to be a, I want it to be this look for that. It's going to mess that up just a little bit. And then I'm going to pull it out through here. Just to get another dimension of something to look at. There. That's interesting. I never know what it's going to look like. I wanted to mess that up, and I, I, I did that. I was I'm happy with it. I kind of want a little bit of dark back through it. Um, and I'm probably going to wish I'd stop playing, but I'm going to do some of this right through here. It didn't change it tons, but it changed it a little. All right. There is super duper quick. I just want to play, but don't want to be committed to a picture or time or anything like that. That's pretty cool. So it will become a card. Not sure what kind. I may do half and make a tall card like that. Or I may just do that. I'll let you know. Okay, so I have sprayed with Kmart varnish. You definitely want to do this when you are making cards because people are going to be handling them. And sometimes, and I don't know the circumstances this happens, but when you rub on this, sometimes this will come off on your hands. And so you don't want that. You don't want them <laughs> having their card on their hands. So spray it, stops everything, seals it up. Now, if this was a pitcher, you might want to go ahead and do some UV protectant on it. Um, but, just a card. I'm just going to spray it with Kmart. Okay. Two sizes. This size or this size. 9 by 4 4 by 6 This is what I do. And, and if you've watched any of my card stuff, you know I make a window the size of my card. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> hey, <laughs> 
So this part of the video is the next day. <laughs> and I thought, I'm going to slide this in. Nope. Mm -mm. Okay. So this is my four by six. Now I'm going to run this around. I, I want to get some of this in, I think, on it. I'm not sure, but something like that would be cool. But you kind of lose the fact that it's a flower. Um, that's not too bad right there. Uh, let me do some of this stuff where I can run it up here. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. So this way you can see you you block out everything else instead of looking and going, I want this area or this area. You know, you run this around and you see where you like it the best. You know, what what features are fun and, oh, that's awesome. Um, so you do that and you're like, mm, okay. Hey, Henry. Um, oh, you got my shirt. I know. This one, I, I have good luck with doing these like half and half like that. That's pretty cool. That is, yeah, I might, mm, I might do this. I, yeah, I get a lot of my petals and look. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. So, um, this is a little bit smaller than my card. That's what you want. Um... I cut all these. This is an, an eight by nine when I cut it. This is, of course, and whatever. Let me, let me see. This is a nine by six and a half. So it's a four and a half by six and a half card. Um, I basically get these. I cut these to match my envelopes. That's the easier adjustment to make. So... That's going to be ballparkish. This is always going to be a little bit bigger, of course. Um, yeah, I like that. I, I didn't think I would, but I do like that. So I'm going to cut this in half. I'll get two cards out of this, too. That That's pretty awesome. Yep. Okay. Let me go cut. Okay. That's pretty painful. I will I will just let you know. That, that disturbed me a little bit. So at this point... Um, I really need to figure out, I'm going to cut a little bit of this off because see how that pulled back and made a line. I didn't like that. So I'm going to cut that and I might even cut that off. I don't like this. Everything else I'm good with. I just don't like that. I just don't know. So we're just going to do one and let's do, let's do this one. <laughs> It's just this one's awesome. Okay, so here's an idea of how it's going to be. I'll cut a little bit of that off. Yeah, this is going to be great. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are. Now you can do a number of things. Either put your mat under here. Um. If you don't have one that matches this and you don't want to invest in a ton of colors, get you a magic marker that matches whatever you're wanting the matte color to be. Take some of your photo paper. Hey. Take some photo paper and, and color it. Seriously, just take your magic marker and either squiggle it or make straight lines or whatever to make you a border. I'm not going to do it. I think this is a pretty powerful thing. Now, look, when I folded it, I folded crooked, Henry, and um, I will trim that up. So I am going to make allowance for that when I put this down. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and do it and have this perfect. And I, I was off right there, too. So... Let me do that. Okay, mister. I need my space. Hey, I need my space. So, I have, I use a guillotine. Love it, love it, love it. It's the big one. It's, it's just, yeah, I love it. Okay, so, now we got to decide. We do that. 
or what do, you, do we keep it like the other hand we keep it like that because that looks like it needs to be thank you that uh looks like that's what it needs to do now i don't <laughs> i double i don't double stick it i use double stick tape henry you're so messing me up and i just go around the outside now this is pretty sticky it's pretty strong so my daughter's just left and took ducky the big lab that's only six months old seven months old now and 65 pounds and everybody has come out from hiding like woohoo all right hey sit And he is like, finds me, and, and it's like, yay, let's celebrate. Okay. Now, I'm just going to tell you, if you don't get this straight, it's a homemade card. So, don't worry about it. It's handmade. If they want perfect, they can go to Hallmark. All right. Is that not gorgeous? I'm just, I'm loving it. Henry, do you like it? Hey, seriously? Um, so there we go. Now, this is a very important part. Do not, do not, do not forget to do this part. This is, you have to do this part. So flip it over. Got the front. Here's your back. Boom. Put your name on it. I bought this stamp. Got it on Amazon. It's in my Amazon store. Um, I wrote... Hand painted and made by Eloise, Scary Hair Lady Art. Sign your stuff. Good grief. I mean, there's fun and talent and love that goes into a card. Put your name on it. Own it. Have fun with that one. Okay, I've got another one I want to do. And I also did a video on it. And it's, yeah. It, I, I learned a lot on this and loved it, but, but, hey, what, I don't stop. You got to quit, you little silly thing. Um, okay, so, I learned a lot on this. No, I can't find my stuff. Here it is. There's that one, and there's this one. I am so tickled with that other one, I can't stand it. So, um, already I am liking that. Wow. I do like that. That's pretty cool. Um, even that. Yeah, I like that better. Yeah. I, that's so beautiful right there. I just... I may, I may have to scoot it over and add, but whatever I do, I mean, it really doesn't have a bad side. Um, no, don't put it in the middle. Henry, where would you put it? Would you put it right there? Let's look at the small one. <laughs> You're wearing me out. Come here. Come here. Okay. <sighs> what we do for our animals all right you know look at that not as much of an impact same almost picture but i'm cutting out this this is really cool with it unless you want to do it like that yeah i'm just not it's gonna to have to be a long one again i love that okay this is this is it i'm gonna include that I like that part right there, and that's going to be it right here. Good deal. Now, I've got my measurements here, nine and three and three-fourths. I did this nine, so I'm going to have to back up off of it a little bit, but that's where you make your card, and you just kind of match it up. You, you fix it. Um, I just... I cut this one to where I have a quarter of an inch all the way around. I like that. Sometimes I do more 
if it just seems like it needs it. But yeah. All right, let's go do this. Okay, so I got my card. Got my card ready. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that cool? All right. Now, here is something. Don't throw this away. All this brown I can use to cut things out of. How cool is that? Um, so I keep all this. And I use my die cuts to cut out fun stuff. So you could do that. Cut this off right here. Have hello written across there. Do it something like that, which that looks better. I like that. Or when you open it up, you know, you can put it right there. So that's cool. But I'm, I'm going to put this one on top right here. And cut this off. But I'm going to let it go over into my white. Now, I do want to do that. I like that look where it kind of trails over into here. And I'll just take that and snip. And there it is. So look how cute that is. Then, go a step further. Take one of these doodahs. And like stick it like that just for something because you get you've given them all this stuff to look at. They can look at this card for a while now. And I just think that is awesome. So yeah, I'm gonna do the hello. Really cool. Okay, y'all go have fun. When you do a picture and you're thinking this isn't a great picture, it'll be a great card. Go out and make cards and just have fun. So thanks for watching. And y'all go have fun.